Hi, my name is Darren, and today I'm going to show you how to create a restaurant menu using advanced custom fields and the repeater field, uh, more specifically nested repeaters. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a page for our restaurant menu to live on. Um, I've already created one, and the important thing here is that we're going to need to assign it a template. Um, if you know how to create a template, go ahead and do that and assign that and publish, update it. Um, but if not, we'll, we'll go over that later. Uh, then we're going to come into the advanced custom fields menu here and create a new field group. We're going to call this field group menu. And I like to get the location rules set up right out the gate. Um, this on the page is equal to restaurant menu and then we're going to hide everything on the screen except for the page attributes so we can change that template if we need to later um okay cool so we're going to start off with a repeater field right at the very beginning the idea behind this is that the uh, you'll create different sections in the menu, so appetizers, entrees, desserts, and then within each section you'll be able to add different dishes. So uh, let's go ahead and set this up. Call it sections. I'm going to prefix this with menu, just so that way if I have more than one field group um, on a post or a page, I'll be able to separate them in the code a little bit if the names overlap and everything else looks good okay so now we're going to add two fields to this the first one we're going to call section title and because this is within a repeater we're not going to worry about prefixing these namespaces as much um, it can be a regular text field and if you're using advanced custom fields um, 5, which is currently just available as the pro version, um, a recent update he added um, the ability to give things a certain width. So we're just going to apply that 20% for now, um, just so it doesn't take up so much space later on. We're going to add one more, and we'll call this one section items and this one will be another repeater field so in here is where we will put the dishes specifically um, so real quick we're going to change this to add dish and before I forget about it, I'm going to change this one to add section. And then we're going to add the dishes. So the first field would be dish name, um, which can be just the text field. Nothing special there. Um, then we're going to add another one for dish description and we're going to change this one to a text area with uh, two rows by default not super big but just big enough and then the last one is going to be dish price and we'll use a number field because why not and we're going to give this a width of 20% as well, so it doesn't take up as much space. Yeah. So at the end, you should have name, description, price, and I think that's it. Seems about right. Um, so we'll publish this. We'll try it out. Have to get back to pages, restaurant menu. Cool. So if we click add section. We'll see we have a section, so let's call this one appetizers, and then we can add dishes. So cheese fries. Oh, 
awesome. So if we wanted, we can add another one. Um, potatoes. Okay, and then let's add another section for entrees. And one more just to round things off. Um, okay, and we'll update that. So now at this point, if we remove this template and hit update and then view the page, we're not going to get anything. So we need to create a template. Um, I'm going to switch over to my theme here. I'm just using the default 2015 theme. All I did was create another file within the 2015 theme um, called restaurantmenu.php. At the top of that, I put in this little comment block with uh, template name, restaurant menu template. When you do that, WordPress knows automatically that you're creating a new template and to make that available on any post type that supports templates. Um, so we'll come back here and we'll edit this, move that back. Okay, so now WordPress knows to use this file to render the restaurant menu. Now I've already filled it out because it's a little time consuming um, if you're a slow typer. So we'll just run through it. Um, basically I grabbed all the content from just the standard page.php and the content page um, template and kind of put that into this template. In this entry content section, I added the PHP block to render all of our fields. So the first part of the is checking to see if our menu has any sections available. So uh, using the ACF API, which you can uh, read more about for the repeater field specifically on the ACF documentation, um, that method works a lot like the WordPress loop, which you can see here. The WordPress loop as well, we'll have posts, the post. So we're just going to do an if check to see if there's anything there first. So if have rows, which is how ACF um, addresses repeater fields. So we call that the menu sections. While have rows, menu sections, the row. And then what that does is it sets up the repeater to give us access to those fields. So if you recall the first subfield in the section, in the section repeater, was the title. So put out an H2 tag and the only difference between repeater fields and just regular fields is you have to do this little sub thing. So we'll do the subfield section title. And I'll just echo that to the screen. And then since the second field within the section repeater was another repeater, we have to repeat this process of the if while. So we'll check if the section items repeater field has any rows in it. If it does, we're going to echo out a table as well as just a real quick table head for the name, description, and price. And then we'll check while um, section items have rows the row and then we'll just echo those out in a table row in three table cells doing the subfield dish name the subfield dish description and the subfield dish price then we'll close that table row in the while 
have row section items. Then we'll end the table. And then we'll end the if for have rows section items. And then we'll end the while for have rows menu sections. And then we'll end the while, or excuse me, then we'll end if have rows menu sections. And then the page closes out. So if we come back over here, update this one more time, and view page, you'll see we get something like this the title and then this is the start of the first section so appetizers name description price the table head and then the cheese fries and potato skins and then we have entrees table head then grilled cheeses and lobster tail um, then we can verify this by just coming back in here and because it's a repeater field, we can rearrange these if we want. Oops, so put the entrees up here, then update that. And if we go back and view it, now entrees is on top, then appetizers. So you can get really creative in here and do desserts and daily specials and all sorts of crazy stuff. And these can go on and on and on forever and you know you can have as many dishes as you want within each section you can edit them it's super easy so if you have any uh, questions you can leave a comment in the comments below and i will try to get back to those um, or you can uh, come join us for the discussion on the advanced custom fields subreddit at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash advanced custom fields. So this was creating a restaurant menu with advanced custom fields and the repeater field. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.